Hello again everyone, Marcus here. I review stuff today. I'm reviewing the song It's a Man's 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 World by James Brown. This is part of my ongoing series where I'm listening to songs that come from albums that are on Rolling Stone Magazine's list of the 500 greatest albums of all time. The way the series works is I'll do reaction videos for two, sometimes three songs from each album. Uh, and then eventually I'll go and listen to the rest of the album on my own and I'll come back and let you know what I thought. And so, um, this is actually going to be the second song that I'm listening to from this album, which is number 439 on the list, James Brown's Sex Machine. The first being uh, Get Up, I Want, I Feel Like a Sex Machine. I forget what the, the full name of that one was called, but it was a good song. I really enjoyed it. So um, hoping for another good one here. From what I can tell, I, I read this little about section from Rolling Stone last time, and it said that... Uh, Sex Machine, the album itself was paired with a legit live recording, a live set recorded by Brown's previous ensemble, and it mentions this particular song that we're about to listen to, so I'm assuming on the album it is, like, recorded live, so what I did was I decided to um, listen to a an actual live performance uh, from James Brown uh, for this particular song, plus, you know, I know that uh, a big part of his shtick, his whole thing, was how great of a live performer he was, right? So, uh, it looks like this was re uh, recorded the 11th of July, 1981. Uh, and this this particular video had like 22 million, 22 million views, right? So, I was like, okay, must be a pretty iconic performance. So, let's jump into it again. James Brown, it's a man's 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 world. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. This is a maze where, where, this is a maze where, eh. but it would be nothing, nothing, nothing. This is a man's world. Mm -hmm. But it wouldn't be nothing. And a baby boy Man make them happy Because man Make them toys But after man make everything Everything He can Man makes money The root of all evil the man
Wow. I wonder if there was more to that because it looked like he was about to start singing again. I don't know if they're going into the next song or if this particular video just cuts it off there. But man, that was a powerful performance. I love that. Again, it's very clear to see why he was hailed as such a great live performer right man what a what a great performance uh, i think from him there's just that that second half of the song where he's basically just you're not even singing into the mic he's just like yelling <laughs> from from a few feet away and i think it's just like he's just like forget you know forget the actual microphone i'm just singing at this point you know um but man i, I think everything really came together here for a fantastic song so let's break it down piece by piece like we always do of course starting with those lyrics so, uh, it does say here, and I do want to read this, it says, Released in 1966, this is one of Brown's most powerful and well-received ballads, as well as a staple of his live shows for years to come. So it mentions it was released in 1966, but I think Sex Machine was released in 1970, right? So that makes sense that uh, that's why they included the live performance here. They were you know, kind of bringing it back around. Anyway. So, this is a man's world, this is a man's world, but it wouldn't be nothing, nothing without a woman or a girl. You see, man made the cars to take us over the road. Man made the train to carry the heavy load. Man made the electric light to take us out of the dark. Man made the boat for like water, for light, for the water, like Noah made the ark. This is a man's, man's, man's world, but it wouldn't be nothing, nothing without a woman or a girl. Man thinks about a little bit of baby girls and a baby and a baby boys man make them happy because man make them toys that's a pretty great line right there um and after man make everything everything he can you know that man makes money to buy from other man so to me i feel like there's two ways you can read this line where he says man thinks about a little bit of baby girls and baby boys man makes them happy because man make them toys i sort of read that when i read it out loud it's like you know men people, men, whoever, think about, like, uh, you know, having kids, that kind of thing, and making kids happy, and you make them happy by, you know, making them toys. That's one way you could read it, but I sort of read it as, like, um, you know, man thinks about, again, baby baby girls, baby boys, having kids, that kind of thing, Uh, and then man makes them happy because man make them toys. When 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 I heard him sing it, and the way that he sang with just such conviction, to me, it sounded more like, um, that, that, they sort of become these play things, these things that you just have um, that you that you don't quite see as, as being exactly human like you. I don't know. I, maybe I read too much into it when he first sang it, but now I'm like, man, that's... Because now I'm reading it, and I'm like, okay, well, maybe it's not about all that, but that's just how I took it with, with how he sang it the, the first time I heard it. So this is a man's world, but it wouldn't be nothing, nothing, no one little thing without a woman or a girl. He's lost in the wilderness. He's lost in bitterness. He's lost. Lord, have mercy now in loneliness. So yeah, I think the point he's just getting across here is that like, it may be like a world dominated by men, but we couldn't have even gotten here without, you know, women and the power of women, right? So it's kind of what I think he's getting at. I think it's, it's a solid point. Um, I don't know if he's necessarily saying, because there was this part where I was like, come on, y'all, where he, you know, I think it was like the first time he said it's a man's world. There were like some dudes in the crowd you could hear kind of like cheering, like, yeah, it's a man's world, you know? And I was like, I don't think that's kind of the point that he's getting across, right? To me, it feels more like he's saying like, like, yes, this world is dominated by men and the things that men do and, and men have a lot of the power, but really we should recognize the contribution of women. That's kind of how I, I was taking it at least. And maybe those are just my biases uh, coming through. So again, like hearing the guys in the crowd who were just like, yeah, it's a man's world. I was like, mm, no, <laughs> uh, let's, let's take it back now a little bit, please. Um, anyway, I think lyrically it, it's a good song. I, I thought it was really well made. I'm going to give it two thumbs up lyrically. 
Um, as far as instrumentation and vocals go, I'm going to start with the vocals just because his performance is just so iconic. I mean, he, he sings with such conviction, um, such energy. Again, you see before this, this song even started, and I assume he had performed songs before this one, uh, but he was just already drenched in sweat. You could tell he he was basically getting a workout on that stage. Um, and sure enough, as you know, he, he's singing again with such conviction, such heaviness, um, to the point where he's like leaning into the mic, he's you know dropping away from the mic. He's literally on his knees at one point, just yelling. Love that little trick he did where the where he like wobbles the the mic, and he's on his knees, and then he like as it wobbles towards him, he like grabs it and pulls it down to the ground and like starts singing into it. I was like, that was a smooth move. That was really cool, um, and and you could even see it. And I laughed not because like the song you know, was funny or the move was funny or anything, but I laugh because you, you kind of look in the background. I don't know if it was the bass player or one of the guitarists who kind of, he, he's got a smile on his face uh, when he pulls that move. And so I saw his face, I saw his smile and I, I just, I had to laugh because I thought like, man, like he recognized that that was like, a, that was a smooth move, you know? So um, yeah, no, I just, I love the energy that James Brown performs with here. Um, she really, I think, elevates the song to that next level. Plus, his voice is just so really soulful in the sense that it gets across that emotion, that sort of um, like just ah, gut wrenching feeling that he's kind of going for. So, uh, yeah, kudos to him for a fantastic performance here. Um, and then, as far as the instrumentation goes, um, I, I thought guitar was great. It was kind of impactful when it needed to be. Bass was fantastic throughout. But really what makes the song for me, what really kind of takes it to that next level, is the horns. I really like the horn section here. I think it just really kind of drove home the emotion uh, and, and sort of paid off the song really well. So, yeah, this one was absolutely fantastic, both uh, instrumentally and vocally. And then, of course, in the performance itself, I'm giving it two big thumbs up. As far as replay value goes, I think this one easily makes the playlist. I don't, I'm probably going to find like a live version or something to add to my playlist. I'm not sure what the recorded version sounds like, but man, just the soul that comes through, the emotion, um, the conviction, again, that comes through in his voice throughout the song, I think just really elevates it for me. And honestly, it was a fantastic song. I can't wait to listen to it again. So it gets two big thumbs up for replay value. And again, this is not, an, this is not a genre that I, that I typically listen to. Uh, but I gotta say, James Brown is kind of changing my mind on that. I, like after listening to this song, I was like, I need to hear more from this album, which I will eventually do. But it was just like, man, that was such a great song. So yeah, can't wait to listen to this one again. Fantastic song. Um, and if I do say so myself, another great entry into this series. Now I'm kind of torn. Do I do one more track from this album or do I move on? What is the next album on the list? Uh, Blur. Oh, I know some of you guys are looking forward to this one. I, I get a lot of requests for Blur on my channel so uh well i'll think about it <laughs> we'll, we'll see uh i mean eventually i will listen to the rest of this album on my own but man it's 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 a really good two for two so far so anyway if you enjoyed the music as much as i did of course go support the artists go listen to their music wherever you can i'm pretty sure james brown is no longer with us but i know that i think some of his bandmates still are so i'm sure they would enjoy that support go you know go listen to the music uh, and of course if you enjoyed what you saw here on the channel consider supporting the channel by doing all the normal stuff you do on YouTube, you know, like and subscribe and comment with your requests because I'm always taking those. You can even check the description if you'd like to follow me on Twitch, TikTok, or Instagram. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.